Alrighty, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bertone, and today guys, I'm about to show you a tutorial how to play Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Yuzu Emulator. Yes, Pokemon Sword and Shield is playable on the Yuzu Emulator. Actually, it was playable three days ago. I had a video of how to setting how to set that up. Basically, um, to sum it up, Nintendo keep on blocking the video, so they don't, they don't block parts of the video anymore. They just block the whole video. So I can't even cut out the parts they're trying to block. So they're basically claiming the whole videos, even though only certain portions of the video showing gameplay. But anyways, I'm I'm not going to go into too much in detail with that. So basically, I'm going to basically show you guys how to set up the emulator, but um, I can't show gameplay, guys. But if you guys have common sense, you universally, you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield is playable on a YouTube emulator. You can see other people doing videos on it, but for some reason, they love going after my videos and BOSD gaming videos also. But enough with me rambling. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up. It's basically very simple, easy. I'll leave in in the description down below to all the links that you guys will need. Um, this tutorial is basically very simple and easy. All you have to do is go to the website, um, yuzu slash mu.org. And when you get there, you go to the download page. Now, um, I'm going to be doing this with you because I just deleted the Yuzu emulator off my computer, but it's not going to be too difficult for me to reset it up on my PC. So I'm obviously going to press download for Windows 64. And after that, I'm going to, after the Yuzu install is finished loading up, I'm going to click on the EXE. And then I'm press install and I'm basically going to wait. Yuzu is basically going to install on my computer, the latest version of Yuzu on my PC. Now it's going to take a while, take a couple of seconds, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to wait. It really doesn't matter to me. Alrighty. Now it's close. It's being finished. Installing. Yep, it's good. After that, we can open up Yuzu. It's gonna be in your tab. Go to all programs, and there you go, Yuzu, right here. Open it up. This this means you need keys. I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up in a second. Just press OK for that one. It's gonna ask you for anonymous data. This is good because it helps improve upon the emulator. So press yes for that and now we're gonna set up our keys all right so do this go to percent oh shift percent app data and then when you get to app data you're going to use you and you're gonna name something called keys and how you do that to you press new left click Left click, go to new, and then go to folder, and then write keys. Now, I will leave in the description down below to the keys, the latest product keys and title keys. It's for you guys to download. It's gonna be in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. I for one, I'm gonna have my own keys right here, so I don't need to download again. So I'm gonna press on keys, and I'm basically going to drag these two inside my folder. I just dragged OBS Studio, something that I didn't want to do. Paste it back here. Yeah, that doesn't go there at all. And then exit that. And I'm exit that. I'm gonna open up the emulator again. Go to Yuzu. There we go. Now it shouldn't be asking me for keys anymore. And after that, I'm gonna plug in my controller. Uh, one controller I suggest for this emulator is an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller because it works best with a Windows computer operating system. Because you know, Microsoft and Windows, Windows owns Microsoft. Wait, that's wrong. <laughs> it's the other way around. Never mind. I'm going. I'm going off topic. So we're going to emulation. Going to configure tab, and then default. Colorful dark, press OK for that one. Now it looks good. 
and then we go emulation again configure now we're going to set up our controller go to custom configure see none go to pro controller and you basically are going to press every button let's say for example it says a i'm press my a button like that b button i press my b button my x button press my x button i basically do this for all of um my controllers d-pad right up down oh i messed up on that one left right up down the right stick left right up down shoulder buttons l Z L R Z R and then you press OK. You press OK again. And you know what? You press OK again. Now after you got all that setting up, you got the keys, the controllers, and you got the configuration settings. Which usually everything on default is usually good. The only thing I really turn off is this shader cast. Press okay for that one. Now you guys are gonna need the game. Now do keep in mind, only do this if you have the digital copy or hard copy of either Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you guys don't have the digital or hard copy, I do not condone you guys downloading games off the internet because I do not condone that at all. You, If you have the game digitally or a hard copy, you have every right to emulate it on the PC because emulation is a, it's legal unless you have the game itself. You have every right to emulate it on the PC. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the web 